Now let us try to analyze this question. So if we read this question, it says that we have a wooden toy rocket which is in the shape of a cone which is mounted on a cylinder. We are given that the height of this total rocket is 52 centimeters and the height of this cone is 12 centimeters. Then we are given that the diameter of the cone is 10 centimeters. So if I rotate this toy rocket, then you will find out that this length is 10 centimeters. Then we are given that the diameter of the cylinder is 6 centimeters. Now we are given that if we have to paint the cone by yellow color and if we have to paint the cylindrical part as blue, so how much amount of both the colors we have to use to paint the whole rocket. Now if you analyze this question, we can break this rocket into two parts. First is a cone and next is a cylinder. So we have to find out the surface area of this cone and of this cylinder. Now if you observe on the cone first, if I rotate this cone, you will find out that we will have a hollow portion of cylinder and in this hollow portion, we don't have to paint anything. So we can find out the surface area of the cone which we have to paint by finding the curved surface area of the cone then we have to find the surface area of this base and then we will subtract the surface area of this inner cylinder circle. So we can find out the total surface area of this cone which we have to paint. But first of all, we have to find out the slant height of this cone. So let us try to find out the slant height. So slant height, we know, we know the height of the cone and we also know the radius of the cone. So we can easily find out the slant height as L is equals to under root of h square plus r square. So this will be under root of h is 12 centimeters and r is 5 centimeters. So this will be 12 squares plus 5 squares. Now if you calculate, we will get this is 144 plus 25. So this will be under root of 169 and we know that root under 169 is 13. So its slant height will come out to be 13 centimeters. So this length will be 13 centimeters. Now we can easily find out that the area which we have to paint yellow. So the total area which we have to paint yellow will be equals to, we have to look at the cone. So it will be equals to the curved surface area of the cone. Then if I rotate it, you will find out that this ring is to be painted yellow. So this ring area can be find out by finding the area of the base of the cone and we have to subtract then the area of base of the cylinder. So this will be equal to the curved surface area of the cone. Then we have to add the area of base of the cone in it and then we have to subtract the area of base of the cylinder from it. So this we can easily find out. The curved surface area of the cone is pi r l and the base area of the cone is the area of this circle which has radius 5 centimeters. Then the base area of the cylinder will be the area of this circle which has the radius 3 centimeters. So let's put the values. So this will be pi. The radius of this cone is 5 and the slant height we had calculated to be 13 centimeters. So this will be 5 into 30. Then we have to add the base area of the cone. So this will be pi into radius of this bigger circle that is 5. So this will be 5 square. This base area of the cylinder. So this will be pi into 3 square. 
So now let's solve this. This will be equals to 13 into 5 is 65 pi plus this will be 25 pi and minus yeah this will be 9 pi. Now let's solve this. This will be 65 plus 25 is 90 minus 9 is 81 pi. So this will be 81 pi. Now let's put the value of pi. Pi here is given as 3.14. So we have to put the value 3.14 here. So this will be 81 into 3.14 and it comes out to be 254.34 centimeter squares. You can try and calculate this value. You will get 254.34 centimeter squares. Similarly, we can find out the area of this cylinder which we have to paint blue. So now if you look, we have to paint the curved surface area of this cylinder and we don't have to paint the top surface area of this cylinder as this is surmounted by the cone. But we have to paint the bottom part. So this will be equals to the curved surface area of this cylinder plus this area of one base of the cylinder. So the area which we have to paint blue will be equals to the curved surface area of the cylinder plus area of one base of the cylinder. So we can find it out very easily. The curved surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi rh. We know the radius of cylinder to be 3 centimeters and we also know the height of the cylinder comes out to be this is whole height is 52 and we have to subtract 12 from it. So height of the cylinder will be 40 centimeters. So let's put the values. This will be 2 into pi radius of cylinder is 3 and its height we had calculated to be 40 centimeters. Then we have to add the area of one base of the cylinder. This is nothing but area of this small circle. So this is 3 centimeters. So its radius is 3. So this will be pi into 3 square. Now let's just solve this. So 2 into 3 is 6. 6 into 40 is 240 pi and plus we have to add this. This will be 9 pi. So this comes out to be 249 pi and we are given the value of pi to be 3.14 so put the values so this will be 249 into 3.14 and if we calculate it this comes out to be 781.86 centimeters square so if you can multiply this 249 into 3.14 and we'll get the 781.86 centimeter square. Now in this question we had done the same thing. We had first separated out the two portion of the solid. Then we had found out that which area we have to calculate. So in this question we had to paint the conical part by yellow color and the cylindrical part by blue color. So we had found out only those areas which we have to paint. 